Hello, everybody. And a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. What do Americans think about Prince Harry marking the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games? As Prince Harry left St. Paul's Cathedral, where his parents King Charles III and Princess Diana wed in 1981, the prince took a short walkabout in the surrounding area, shaking hands with well-wishers gathered there. He shook his hand, and regardless of what's gone on with the royal family, he's still part of our institution, he's still Harry. I still love them, but I wish they mend things up. You know, it's sad for me, so, yeah. The handshake interactions served as a reminder of his duties as a royal representative. While the church service celebrated the accomplishments of competitors in the Invictus Games, it also reminded those present of the larger causes that the game support, such as honoring injured veterans and fostering the human spirit of resilience. And step into the profound moment as Prince Harry delivers a stirring reading at the Invictus Game Service, igniting inspiration and honor. Join us on LMT channel to witness the power of resilience and unity embodied in his words. Now there are varieties of gifts with the same spirit. And there are varieties of services with the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities. But it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one Spirit, to another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, the discernment of spirits. To another, various kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same spirit who are lost to each one individually, just as the Spirit chooses. Disclaimer. Everything in this video, and all of my videos, are my opinions based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Royal rules trump family feuds which puts Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet in a bit of a weird position if their uncle William takes the throne. Here's where they stand if that happens. Since King Charles III's cancer diagnosis was announced in February 2024, the news has been impacting the monarchy and will continue to do so no matter what transpires. Now, things may be taking a turn for the worse as the king's funeral plans are reportedly being revisited and a source told the Daily Beast. Everyone is staying optimistic, but he is really very unwell. More than they are letting on. In moments like this, it's easy for the public to wonder about the line of succession and the domino effect that will begin when Charles dies. No matter when the king ultimately passes and his throne goes to the next in line, the entire royal family and their roles will be affected. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are, of course, on the outs with the palace and are no longer working royals. As for the pair's children, though, it's easy to wonder what exactly the death of their grandfather could mean for their roles in their future. Harry and Meghan's choice to leave their royal roles and move to the United States caused some bad blood between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the royal family. It also distanced their children from the royals. Even so, Prince Archie, who will turn five in May 2024, 
and Princess Lily Bet, who turns three in June, are still the king's grandchildren, and that means that they are still firmly in the line of succession. The news of King Charles III's cancer diagnosis has undoubtedly cast a shadow over the monarchy, stirring questions about succession. While Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have distanced themselves from royal duties, their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, remain in the line of succession, despite the family tensions. The impact of Charles' passing will reverberate through the entire royal family, affecting their roles and future dynamics. When King Charles III dies, William, Prince of Wales, will become king. After William, his children, in order of age, are next in line for the throne. Prince George is first in line, followed by Princess Charlotte and then Prince Louis. Despite his distance from the world of the royals, Prince Harry is still next in line after Louis. He is followed by his kids, Archie and then Lilibet. Harry's role in the line of succession is his birthright, and as such, it must remain as it is unless drastic steps are taken to remove it. Even so, the throne would need to be abdicated by William and all of his children, or they would all need to die before Harry in order for him to become king, which is, of course, unlikely. Consequently, the likelihood that Archie and Lilibet will ever take over the crown is even lower. They did, however, gain prince and princess titles when Charles took over as king. In 2023, a statement from the Sussex's spokesperson said, The children's titles have been a birthright since their grandfather became monarch. This matter has been settled for some time in alignment with Buckingham Palace. Despite the family drama between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the royals, things seem to be less tense between Harry and King Charles than between Harry and Prince William. After all, Harry immediately visited Charles when he heard about his cancer diagnosis. It's the first time he will have seen his father in any meaningful way, really since the Queen's funeral. Yet, a source told the Daily Beast that despite Harry's attempts, his brother and sister-in-law aren't particularly interested in welcoming him back into the fold just yet. The source said, Catherine and William have been very clear they want peace and quiet for them and the kids. A visit from Harry with all the drama that would bring would be the opposite of that. Whether the Sussexes and their children will attend William's coronation or come back as the monarchy shifts remains to be seen. Even so, royal rules often seem to take precedence over the bad blood, which will likely affect Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet thanks to the succession to the Crown Act. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams explained to Newsweek. The first six in line to the throne must ask permission from the monarch before they marry. Archie and Lilibet will be fifth and sixth in line when William becomes king. So at some point, they'd have to ask him if he's still on the throne when that time comes. Despite family tensions, Harry's relationship with King Charles appears less strained than with Prince William. Whether the Sussexes and their children will play a role in future royal events remains uncertain, but royal protocol will likely shape their involvement. As for Archie and Lilibet, they will inherit prince and princess titles and maintain their place in the succession, though the likelihood of them assuming the throne is remote. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.